cute she's giving let's check out the view all right hi guys welcome back to my channel as you could see in the little footage we are in vegas this is gonna be like a little vegas vlog you know what to do like comment subscribe girl do all the things and meet me right back here for you guys this is my sister Toonie you guys know Toonie by now hey. Toonie Puny my little sister we are now in Vegas for summer league I'm hosting an event tomorrow at the Prada store fireworks and all the things yay yeah. yeah. MCP and the bees for Prada girl Tonight we have a NBWA meeting, which is the National Basketball Wives Association. Speaking of basketball wifey, we need to do like a little life update because your girl, my life is in shambles. Caldwell Pope Capital Resort grand opening has turned into the grand closing. <laughs> you guys, we just got traded again. We're going into Contavious's 10th year in the NBA. Congrats to him. He's like a real vet. Like he was a vet. I feel like a decade in the league, like you a vet vet. Okay, can we be shady real quick? Shady moment, come close. You guys, I right breathing close. This is close friends content. I'm not going to miss the team. <laughs> the only reason why we were in DC, obviously, was because of the team. I loved everything else about Potomac, DC. I loved our Potomac house. I loved our Potomac life. But honestly, this team was like not really family oriented. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I should be saying that or not. But I really missed the family vibes of the Lakers, even the Pistons. Davis was drafted to the Pistons many moons ago. Yeah, and even honestly, the Pistons was my favorite as far as the like, family orientation. Yeah. The Pistons did a very good job as far as like making the family feel welcome and the friends feel welcome and generally like yeah. guests of the players. But the Wizards, oh my gosh. I don't know. I felt like if I was going to be there longer, I was definitely going to work on some stuff like an end of the season party, which I'm glad I didn't girl because we're not even on the team no more. But anyways, we just got traded. So that's my life. That's my update. We're going to Denver. I don't even know if I said that. We're going to Denver. I don't know if that's a family oriented team or not. A lot of the guys seem kind of like young. Your girl is 30. I don't know if there's 30 year old something. I'm gonna be the grandma. I don't know. That's my story. Caldwell Pope Capital is gonna turn into Caldwell Pope Cabin. I just feel like I need a theme for the new team to live my dream. This, I just have to dive in. We kind of told the kids. Kenzo has been training with Kentavious. Of course, like all the guys train there, right? One of the guys just like mentioned it. I don't know if they mentioned it to Kenzo or just like in front of Kenzo about being traded. And so he came home, he's like, mommy, are we moving to Denver? I'm like, Skrr. like, whoa, who told you that? Like, I wasn't really gonna say anything until the ink was dry. But anyways, he found out Kenzo seems to be very resilient, but Kenzo is allergic to the cold, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, you know Kenzo has like hella allergies. He's allergic to the cold and grass and trees and cats and feathers and dogs. All nuts but almonds. Crab, lobster, shrimp, salmon, halibut, cod, any fish you can think of, he's allergic to it too. Well, my poor baby is also allergic to the cold, which means he's allergic to the snow and we're going to Denver in a log cabin somewhere in Aspen. I don't know where we gonna live, but I know it's gonna be cold. I know that Sierra and Russell just got traded to Denver and I'm like, CC, do you love Love me, are you riding? Can we have a play date? Because she got three kids, I got three kids. I feel like we should get the kids together. Someone tell her I said hi. So my makeup is done. Do like a little 10 minute face. So I had on these white sweats on the plane and I took them off and I saw these like cargo pants on my sister's suitcase. And I'm like, sis, can I wear these? These are from Amazon. She bought these for Kenzo's. Memorial Day weekend vlog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is what they're giving. I just threw these on. I tightened the waist. Looks good on my booty. And then these were on top of my suitcase. So I'm gonna put these on. And I'm gonna do a pop of gold, like a gold bag, I think. She's giving you texture. She's giving you quick. She's giving you out of the room in 10 minutes. Just to go to this meeting downstairs. My sister's gonna stay here. You guys are gonna talk to her. She's gonna unpack. I'm gonna go to my meeting. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me on my phone. And we're gonna simultaneously get this content. Okay. Right, we're gonna get the job done. We're officially done putting her clothes up, yay. So that's the stuff that she brought and then 
the other stuff like swimsuits and things like that up in the drawers straighten up my stuff because my stuff is kind of just like everywhere on the floor right now messy but neatly in my suitcase still <laughs> Vegas is already vegas -ing. Girl, I have no words. Okay, so last night, the meeting went very well. Then we just like walked to this other place in the casino. They had like music, drinks, girl, everything you need to have a good time. And we did just that. I get back to the room, put my phone on the charger. And apparently that outlet doesn't work because I just went to sleep. And girl, I woke up and it was 8.50. I have to be downstairs at 9.15. It is 9.20. So it's been a while since we talked. My camera died as we were going down the elevator to go to the service event. So let's catch up. I'm putting some curls in my hair, by the way, because we're getting ready for my event. We went to a, it was called the NPHY. It was serving homeless youth. It was like so informative. Like I had no idea. Like obviously I'm not oblivious that there's homeless youth, but they're saying statistically it's one in every 30 kids. And in I was America. just shook. And it's just in America. I was just so shook. I could not believe it. So we packed a hundred lunches and backpacks and wrote these sweet little notes for the kids. Shout out to NBWA for putting that together. It was a good time. It was so hot. Girl, I could not live here full time. It was, what what time? It was like 10 in the morning. And it was so hard. It was like already 100. I'm like, it's not even August yet. I forgot how hot Vegas is. And now we are going to my Prada event. We're gonna sip in style and shop for a cause. 10% of the proceeds go back to the MBWA, which is incredible. All right, we are curled for the girls. You see me? We're headed to the Prada event. Puny already has her Prada on. I have to go get dressed. We just pulled up to the shop and we are going to go into Prada and get a dress girl. They're dressing me, Sab, and Mia. Toonie's already Prada down. Right, and let Damn. me give you the rundown of the fit because I look cute and I feel cute. We are giving you a Skims bodysuit, black bodysuit, Prada shorts, and just regular heels and a Prada purse. It's giving simple but chic because we gotta let the other one shine tonight. What is it giving? It's giving Prada Bay. <laughs> Okay, so this is look number one. Obviously, it does not fit. The shorts fit great, but the top is just a little extra medium. Okay, y'all, so quick update. Sabrina and Mia found their looks. They look fabulous. However, we're still looking for one for Mackenzie. And I don't know, at this point it's giving, we need to give everybody tequila shots and go from there. So to the bar we go.
please allow me to welcome our special host, my friend, my sis, an amazing member in our community, Mrs. Mackenzie Caldwell. Yeah. The memories and experiences that I share with my family are a blessing beyond belief. I have a true love of fashion. <laughs> I believe that fashion is a way to express yourself and also treat yourself. Yes. So treat yourself. We continue to bring our sisterhood together to do good. Thank you so much. Now, this is her outfit. She's giving me a little Attica moment on the bottom. I think I'm gonna put on like a little black bag with this. A little Amina on the shoe. Attica pan. Wolford on top. So we can go down, meet the rest of the girls, have some drinks, have some fun. The event was a success, girl. <laughs> Madam President. guys, Vegas is Vegasing. <laughs> Yesterday was so much fun. I'm really enjoying this retreat this year. I enjoyed it last time. So last time we were here was before the pandemic, but I, I still feel like each year it's gonna continue to get better and better. And this year, girl, we're having so much fun. So many people are coming out. I'm meeting so many more of the ladies. Just more of them are getting involved, which is amazing. I just woke up and took a shower. I'm supposed to be downstairs in like 20 minutes and I'm not sure if I can pull this off, but I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna lie, I'm very homesick and I wanna go home. I just miss my kids, <laughs> but I'm having a great time. So I'm gonna tough it out. Today is the last day. I'm considering changing my flight to later this evening, just because I wanna sleep in my own bed, but yes. So anyways, on the agenda today, I need to get dressed. We gotta go down. We're having some workshops for everyone, just like career-wise, life-wise, financially, all the things, which is gonna be really dope. Then we have like a poolside function as just like to close out the weekend. Just relax, go to pool, gather your thoughts before you go home to your family. But anyways, let me get dressed and I'll see y'all in a minute. catch you up. Today is Saturday of the next week. We got back from Vegas Sunday. My sister actually left the same night to go back home to Dallas. But girl, when I got back from Houston, Atlanta, Rona, I had coronavirus. You guys, I brought COVID back from Vegas. Ugh. So I've been down and out for the past five days. Today is my last day of quarantine. So I really started feeling sick on like Tuesday, but I did hot yoga that day and I was like feeling nauseous. And I'm like, girl, maybe I'm just not used to it. It was high. I don't know. I just thought I was like nauseated. I couldn't eat. But then one of the girls from Vegas, like one of the women from the conference was like telling me that she had it. And I'm like, oh girl, let me go test. Wednesday, I was positive. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today's day for I'm feeling amazing and girl I was looking like a hot mess which I still don't look my best but I at least had to like brush my eyebrows and do some to my hair because I just had a knot up here just looking like the COVID personified we're giving you bare face 
day five of quarantine. I wanted to show you guys like some of what we got on the last day. I went to this like Yeezy pop up with some of the girls. Shout out to my friend Mia Wright. Her husband is the coach. And I got this really nice Yeezy shirt. It's actually really huge. I would give it to my husband, but he's not allowed to wear Adidas. Oh, maybe he can wear that because it's Gap. Maybe I will give it to him. If not, I'll be wearing it with some sneakers and nothing underneath because it's giving a dress. It's giving gown. So what all did we get from Houston Atlanta Rona? So we have some The Better Skin Co. Gelactive Acid Treatment Toner. Do you guys know about this? If you do, let me know down in the comments below. We have a book from Jackie Christie. You guys, Jackie came. It looks like some of the women put their own like brands in here. And this is really cool. Sparkle Chanel. Mmm, looks like a little matte lip. This is another part of like the skincare. We've got some drinks. These are from our sponsors. I think this ginger ale I took from my hangover. We've got some fitness bands, woman owned, black owned. Okay, period. And we've got some Alley Oop Multi Mood Lip Trio. I love a little lip moment. Well, that's that. Let's go through my other bag. Cause girl, we got so much stuff. I didn't show you guys what I got from Prada. So. <laughs> have my product bag. Mace on by Ty. Shout out to my girl Ty. She's a friend of the show, of my show, Sip and Style. And what did she gift us? Mm. I always love her packaging. It's always a moment. These are her wooden utensil. Thanks, Ty. These are really cute. Cannot wait to bring these back to my kitchen. Girl, if you dating a player or married to one and you wanna join, you should join. I'll put the link down below. MBWA is amazing. You meet so many cool people, all of these women, all of their brands, like what? Truff, I've been wanting to try their stuff. There's these truff sauces from Maison Hot Sauce. My husband doesn't like spicy, but I do. So I'm excited to try this. Maybe I can ask our chef to cook something so I can try. Prada gave us a gift. All the ladies got one of these. Let's see. All right, Prada. Oh my God. You guys, this smells so good. It smells like fresh. It smells like baby, like new baby, fresh, out of the shower. It just, it smells like pure. Ooh, this is good. Shout out to Prada. Yes, Prada. Thank you. I bought a shirt. I just feel like I needed this. I have some green Prada shirts. Actually, the shorts my sister wore are mine. And I feel like I could wear this with it. And I feel like I can layer this under stuff. I feel like it's multi-purpose. What do y'all think? <laughs> y'all already know what to do. If you like it, comment down below. And if you don't, girl, just skip through. <laughs> Don't say nothing at all. Oh, I bought these little earrings. These were like an added purchase that I probably really didn't need, but girl, he brought them up to the register. Like, what about these? And I was like, just run it. Just take all my money. These, I feel like are so cute. I don't have any like silver earrings. I wear the same stones. My husband bought these for me like years and years ago. I just like really never take them out. But these I thought were so bomb. These are like Prada like logos and they're like blinged out. I don't know. I just thought they were really cute and it's like a different shape. It's fun. I like them. What y'all think? So I bought this bag that I've wanted for a while. They're always sold out. I actually didn't really look that hard, but I've always kind of loved it. It's just like the cutest little backpack and it's a crossbody. I feel like I needed another crossbody, a casual moment. I can wear with my kids. To me, this screams boy mom. I kind of wanted a pop of color, but they only had black and white and I wasn't gonna get white. And it matches the shirt. I have some Prada boots. I have some black Prada shades. I just thought she was cute. And I'm probably gonna wear her crossbody most of the times. <gasps> you guys. All right, y'all. Well, that concludes our Vegas vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you stay safe from Houston, Atlanta, Rona. You guys, Vegas was fun. I just, I'm sad I had to end it with COVID. I had my ginger ale. Everyone knows ginger ale cures all. And hopefully the ABCDEFG is right. And I'm clear tomorrow and I can be back with my kids. I just miss them so much because I feel like I went to Vegas for the weekend and then I came back with the Rona. I just feel like I haven't been able to spend time with them in like a week. Girl, it's a bit much. I miss my kids. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Bye.